let me give you some examples. Um, with a circle, given the radius of a circle, you can always jump to the uh, to the circumference by by using this formula. Um, C equals uh, two pi r. So if someone gives you the radius, you can always jump to the um, to the circumference. And from the radius, you can also, if you wanted to, find out the the area uh, of a circle. Uh, by by using the by using this formula here, a equals um, pi r squared. Um, so so with a circle, if if you're given the the radius, you can always find out the circumference. You can always find out the area. Um, both these uh, formulas have to be inside your head. They're they're so important. You, you just it's it's best just to memorize them. Um, if you can't remember, just Look, look at the area. You know, if, if you have an area, if, if you have a square, let's say this is x and this is x. Um, if you want to know the area, you've got to, you've got to get this length times this length. So there exists a, uh, an x squared. Well, here, look at this. It's similar. Not exactly the same, but it's, it's similar. So if, if you want to know the area of, of a circle, you know that's going to be r squared. This one, there is, there's only one R. So, well, anyway, develop your own method to somehow uh, remember these these two formulas. From from these two formulas, you can find out pretty much anything you need to know about a circle. So let's let's give you some uh, some examples. Um, here, the radius is eight. Let's say we want to find out the uh, the circumference. Well, what what's the uh, circumference of this circle here? Um, Remember, you're given the radius, so you can always jump to the circumference. So um, the first thing you should do, write down the formula for the circumference, because you're trying to find out the circumference. So write down the formula for the circumference. So C equals 2 pi R. Well, R is, uh, is this thing here, it's 8, so put it into the R here. So that, that would be C equals 2 pi R, uh, uh, 2 pi 8. Okay, because you, you, you're putting the radius into the R here. Uh, now you, you can merge number, merge with number. So uh, 2 times, remember all these are, are multiplying each other. Uh, 2 times 8, 16. So the answer is C equals 16 pi. Okay, um, if you, if, uh, if you, if you're given this circle here with a radius of 8 and you want to know the area, so here you have to jump from here to the area. Again, you've got a formula for that. The first thing you should write down is uh, a equals uh, pi r squared. Okay. Well, this this is r here. So you put the r, the uh, the the eight into the r here. So it would be like this: a equals pi eight squared. Remember, powers are more important. So you've got you've got to do uh, this bubble first. So it would be 8 times 8, 64. And um, let, let's do it in one go. Let's put these 64. Let's switch the pi and the number around. So it would be 64, 64 pi. So the area is 64 pi. You can just leave us this. Um, if, if in school they're, they're asking you to find out the exact thing, then get, get a calculator, punch in 6, punch in 4, punch in times, and punch in pi. Uh, and then punch in equal, uh, and then it, gi it will give you a number. And whatever it is, um, yeah, if if you're given eight centimeters, then the answer will be eight centimeters squared. Okay, because we're talking about the area, so you have to use squared. Here, this is a length. This is like a string. It's a length. Um, so so it's, it's in it's in centimeters, not centimeters squared. When you're up here, but when you're down here. Uh, is centimeters squared because you're talking about area. Here, this circumference here would be centimeters because the circumference is really the length. It's like a string. Uh, it's a length. Um, it's not an area. Okay. So the unit for for the circumference would be centimeters, whereas for the area it would be centimeters squared. Okay. Next example. Let's say now you're given the area and you want to find out the the radius. So this question here is saying the area is 20 centimeters squared. What is the um, what is the radius? So in effect, you 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 are starting at at the uh, at the area, and you have to somehow jump to the radius. So which formula will you use? C equals uh, two pi r. 
or a equals uh, pi r squared. Well, here you're working with area. Um, we, we, we're not working with circumference. So, so forget about this formula. We, we need this one here. Okay. Uh, so now, now, no, normally, normally you, from the radius, you can always jump to the circumference. You can always jump to the area. But now we are working backwards. So we know the area. So let's, let's put the A into, into here. So the, this, this is A here, 20. Okay. So it's 20 equals pi r squared. We are trying to work out r, r squared, uh, r, remember. This exists in a bubble. So inside your mind, kill off the, uh, the pi by dividing both sides by pi. So it's 20 over pi equals, uh, r squared. Okay. Uh, and, and then, uh, and then square root both sides. So 20, take, take the whole lot down. And then square root this side, and then square root the right hand side, which will give you r. So r equals this. You can just leave it at this, or if you're really desperate, you, you want to, you want a, a decimal thing, um, then, then just work out this bubble here. So inside your calculator, you, you, you might be able to punch, it depends on what calculator you're using, but you, you might have to punch square root, the square root button, and then the bracket button, uh, and then, uh, and then 20, uh, 2, 0, and then divide, um, I think it's something like this button, and then, uh, and then divide by pi, the pi button here, and then you close it, press the close button, and then, uh, cl close the bracket. So, so basically, it's saying you've got to work, the, the brackets here, it's just, just saying that you have to work what's inside the bubble first. Okay, so look, 20 divided by pi, and then you close it, and then you press equal, and then it, it will give you a decimal. But uh, just with me, just, just leave it as this. So r equals square root this. Okay? Just, just leave it as, as this. It, it will do for the time being. Okay, next example. This one here. You're given the circumference. You've got to work out the radius. So you are given the circumference. So you start here, and somehow you've got to jump to the, uh, Jump to the radius. So do you a use this formula a equals uh, pi r squared, or do you use c equals two pi r? Um, so this one here is useless because we are not working with area. We're, we're given the circumference equals forty centimeters. Remember, centimeters, not squared, not centimeters squared, because circumference is a length. It's like a string. It's not an area. Okay, well anyway, we don't need this formula, we need this one here. So, um, 40 is our C, so let's put the 40 into the C here. So it will be 40 equals 2 pi r. Now we want to work out what r is, so, so basically imagine this as being um, one, one big bubble here times in this bubble here. So, you want to kill off the two you want to kill off this bubble here so that R can stand on its own. So inside your mind, remove, uh, sorry, inside your mind, divide both sides by, by, uh, 2 pi. So take the 40 down, divide it by 2 pi, and, um, and on the right hand side is just R. Okay? So, um, so, so here now, 40 is an even number, and this, you can imagine it as being an even number. So you, you can divide top and bottom by 2. Okay, um, so so that forty divided by two is uh, twenty, and two pi divided by two is pi. So r equals this twenty over pi. If you really want to know the answer, punch in twenty, punch in the divide button, punch in the pi button, uh, and and it should give you, uh, and then punch in the equal button on your calculator. Okay, but but with me, just just leave it as this. Okay, so um. So, so remember, if, if you're given a circle with, with uh, a radius, you, you, you can always jump from the radius to the circumference. And then you can always jump from the radius to the, uh, to the area. But, the, uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you, um, no, well, not the next one. I'm going to give you some, some, uh, some, uh, some practice first before I give, uh, I'll, I'll, later on, some, um, later on, I will show you how to get from the, from the, uh, from the circumference to the area. Okay, so, so how would you get?
from the, the circumference here to the area or from the area to the circumference. Well, the trick is jump back to R and then from R jump to, jump to this. And then if, if you if you start, if you start, if you're given the area, you jump back to the radius and then from the radius you jump to the, uh, to the circumference if you want to work out the, uh, well, I'll explain this another time. Okay.